that we all experience that causes us so much trouble. You say, how do you play out of that offensively? How do you do that? Well, first, I mean, my, my, my belief is that all five guys have to know all five positions. And it's really not five different things to do. It's the concept of what you want as a team that you have to learn. And it's really easy to teach. Watch this. Give me a point guard. Give me a, a guard on this side over here. Give me a, a forward over here. And are we missing one? Okay. And a forward on this side over here, up here. Move up just a little bit. Okay. Now, let's say Roly just gave you 25 ways to trap. Okay. But as he told you, it all comes down to trap, two interceptors, and a uh, protector, which I told you this morning, as we, we talked about. So let's say that he's coming across with the ball, and there is a, let's say we've got number three call. Number three is our best man-to-man -man play, and they know it, and we know it, okay? And so we're coming across, and we're perfectly set here, and we're gonna call number three, and he comes across, and the next thing you know, there's an up trap or a down trap, one of the two. It makes no difference. Let's just say it's an up trap. And the guy right here runs at him. He's got a guy on him, and there's a double team right here, okay? And then that leaves them three guys in a triangle. Well, what I've always told my team, when there is a double team, expected or not, spontaneous, unexpected, expected, all the same. We've got to be in what I call a three pass at once formation. And I don't care how you get there, and I don't care who gets there, but I want somebody there. Yes, it is better if uh, the center ends up being in the middle, but it could be my point guard, it could be my small forward, I don't care. But he's got to be, now, what did we just teach in this other drill? Line of the ball to the basket. So whoever's in the middle has got to get line of the ball to the basket. You see? Right there. Good. Okay. And then the other two guys that are closest to him, the one that's at half court in this case, has got to be slightly behind the ball. Why is that? Because the double team is here. See, they got to be behind, so it's like this. They're going to protect the middle, so he's got to be slightly behind and maybe even ball side of the half court. There you go. Whoop, right there. And then the other guy's got to be outside of the two guys here. Okay? So that now, if there are two interceptors here, one there and one here, you want to be above that line, slightly like that. That's perfect. Now we've got three guys here who can catch the ball in one pass. We've got one other guy who I would call an attacker because he's on this side and they, they, they're out of people to guard him. So the idea is to attack either by reversing it or, excuse me, or by passing it into the middle. Here you go. And then looking to the back side. And now we play. And at that point, you attack, because they ought to be running at you from now. You either got the jump shot, you take it, or you attack off the dribble, and you get that ball up there. Now, they're not going to block you out. Why? Because they're in a scramble situation, so you ought to be on the offensive glass, and you ought to be on the offensive glass if he shoots it. They will not block you out. They'll go to the board, but they won't block you out. Okay? 